Great. Okay. So it seems like they are using. Starting off with Wolf and oh yeah, this is Berkeley, right? Yes. Okay. That's Berkeley. Okay, I got Ber I have Merced's team. Who is this? All of our. So we can, we can we can say their teams, right? Yeah. All right. So let's let. It looks like uh. We got Sativa on the. Olimar Ditto? Yeah, apparently yeah, Olimar Ditto is interesting. We got Sativa, which Merced, which is the red uh, Olimar. Then we got uh, Hydro with the normal color Olimar. I don't know if this is a button check if they're actually going into this. And immediately the Pikmin are flying and it it's is... just a grave shard. It's just a grave shard show. You know, just Pikmin dying left and right. It is World War II, <laughs> Battle of the Pikmin, Battle for Freedom. Well, it seems like Hydro has a pretty good lead on Sativa at the moment. Sativa using his Pikmin. Oh, no Pikmin there in hand. No connection. Okay. I really appreciate it. He's got a blue on deck. Big damage for that. Throw. Purple. Now, is the purple for purple? smash attacks or damage? Oh, so purple is for both. He's okay. actually just overall very high knockback on the, on the uh, on any hit. Then you have your red Pikmin, which is immune to fire. fire. Then you got your blue immune to water. Only Greninja. <laughs> Pretty much, purple. yeah. Uh, so... You get to see, usually see a lot of Olimars using the uh, blue Pikmin for grabs because they have really high knockback on their grabs. Okay, yes. okay, Sativa looking for forward smash his shield. Very ooh, nice. awkward. That was a very awkward interaction. But Notice how he, he, he was behind and he made yeah. that comeback real quick. And there you go. Was top. Oh, I think he could have lit that actually. I think he jumped into the blast zone. Very nice. Both players at relative percents right now. Not it too is... high, not too low. I would do honestly this this is the play if you have two Olimar Dittos, he's such he's <laughs> such an obscure character that really the only way to counter him is with himself. Ooh, almost. Big, big damage on Sativa. Let's do four percent each take on white. I don't know what the what the uh, damage is, but Alright. It's I know it's the highest damage uh, out of all the Pikmin. Definitely, definitely. Okay, Sativa being able to bring be able to bring this back. Yellow weak on power but has the range. Yep. Okay, Ooh, Sativa, gosh. nice. Two purples on deck. Probably Olimar's worst nightmare. Oh, throwing Okay, wild. okay. Oh, Wait, was again! That, was that a battle of purple versus purple? I believe what? so. That inter These interactions are very weird. I've never seen, like, I guess an Olimar do, so all these interactions are new to my eyes. Yes, this... They kind of hurt, not gonna lie. <laughs> exactly. Colors are everywhere. <laughs> you got dead pipe, uh, Pikmin dying left and right. Okay. Oh, wait, well, I haven't paid attention to take damage yet, but he's already at 70%. It's the Actually original ridiculous. Piranha Plant. Yep. That's actually 84% on Sativa at the moment. At one stock and purple Ooh, pick it. Very nice. Hydro. The ending lead over Sativa. And that is going to be Berkeley's or Merced's up? That's uh, Mer uh, Berkeley's up. Berkeley's up. Berkeley's Merced up. is down by uh, three stocks. Okay, I was. I should have picked Alf at least. Yeah, no, those are really, really weird interactions between the forward smashes of both players, but it ended up working on the Berkeley side, so. It's Olimar. It's Olimar. If you got Olimar, you put an unstoppable Olimar versus another unstoppable Olimar, it's like. Yeah, the battle of, like, the both un um, two unstoppable forces, you know? Who's Pikmin? But was it a clash of identical Pikmin? Because I. I believe it was two purples. I just don't know how it ended up being, like, one went. One didn't go through, but the other did, so. All right. <laughs> so next up, we see, it seems like we have Cheese Boy. Cheese Boy with his Pac Man. Gotta accept it and move on. Uses the uh, tag of Pimp. Uh, so with Pac Man, I guess he doesn't really have to approach too bad. His approaches don't have to be as aggressive against Olimar. Mm -hmm. The matchup uh, for Cheese Boy should be. Oh, wait, they have to kill themselves. Oh, yeah. Get rid of the Hydra. There you go. Give him the classy countdown. I can think out him in there, but like three, two, two one, one. Okay. go. Oh, so, they actually win. Can they hear <laughs> I know. They, no, they, they just did it at the same time. Nice. So, I'm in with the gods. Cheese Boy should know the matchup for this because mm -hmm. he plays a lot with Sativa. Oh, is he going down there? Oh, no. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to go do the trampoline trump. Okay, so it seems like, oh, Hyjo, very punishes. aggressive. Very, very well-timed punishes. No, Olimar, the only character I know that can combo up smash into up smash. That's the only one that I know too, man. That's crazy. Oh, Purple right. Pikmin able to like clank out the Hydrant for some reason. Ooh, up smash. Wait. Okay, Olimar short and the hitbox is not three, com three, complete 360 on that neutral air. Very interesting use of his Pikmin. I will say Hydro, I will compliment him on the use of his Pikmin. Very good use. You cannot blink when you're fighting Olimar. And I do believe this is the um, the best Olimar in, in Sankal or something like that I heard from uh, my last commentator. 
he said that this is one of the best Pikmin around, so it goes to show that he, he knows what he's doing. Well, he won the ditto, so no one to contest that now. Yeah, that's true. No one here to contest that. Okay. True Tom might have something to say about it, though. We'll true. See. True. Okay. Galaga on hand. I damage on Ijo. Let's see how Cheeseway will set to take out the stock. I think the Pac-Man definitely, definitely wants to take the stock. Does not want to want Olimar to run away with this. Okay. I think definitely the Pac-Man can take, can destroy, the, can beat this Olimar. It would be a great, it would be a great work for the UC, UC Merced team if he can. True. But Olimar, okay. high damage. That was almost 20% from a purple Pikmin. Purple Pikmin are big chunky characters, you know. Oh, not characters. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. Jeez, boy. 360. Okay, Galaga on hand. Wait, no kill. Oh, oh okay. no kill. I about to say, are we gonna see a clip? Okay, Pikmin coming in clutch for Hyjo. Purple on deck. We'll this grab. Is it. Forward throw. Wow. Okay. Anything okay. would have killed actually. Probably except down throw. Yeah, that probably would. Okay. Right. Galaga on hand. I was about to count the ticks. Okay. All right. I love the pa I love the the power up usage. Covering shield option and going back to the hit. Oof. Down tilt. Anything will kill at this point. I have to admi I admire the carefulness on Olimar's part. Besides being a light body, he has that 173 and could potentially end this stock. Oh my god. Forward smash coming out from Hydro. Uh -oh. Able to cover anything. Bait backing out. Strawberries in. Ooh. Uh oh. This Hydro seems to uh -oh. be just whacking anything Pushing that. Him. Throw. Back out. Good Perfect. Kill. Very good kill. She's been using the hydrant to push Hydro back. Back into the grab. Very smart. Yetus deletus. <laughs> Olimar's, <laughs> Olimar's still looking pretty, but Pac-Man's not out. Okay. If he's careful with his approaches and maybe stacks up, stacks up percent with more projectiles. Purple in hand. Let's. Oh. And right, going, going overhead with Olimar right in front. Very nice. Hydro able to take out two of the Merced players. Ah, looking pretty rough. What do you think? It is looking pretty rough, but it, I think if they can get, if the next player can get this Olimar down without losing a stock, they could still be in this. Who would they send in next? Probably someone that can... Hmm. Someone with some power. They're probably going to send the Rob over. Most likely. We'll see. Lasers. All right. We got to watch out for the fire shield because I don't think... No. They're sending in Manny. Oh. They're going in Manny? Got it. And Manny plays... Uh, Peach. Peach. Okay. Going going off with the Peach right off the bat. I didn't get a chance to see this Peach in action with our team at CSU and B. Got yep. a chance to fight him. So we're about to see how what's going to happen. So it seems like it's going to be the Clash of Titans to the best of the best. I so why? Especially if they got those flow cancels down, instant aerials, especially yeah. with a strong back air like Peach. Olimar might find himself uh, getting out way too early. Oh, and the edge guard. Peach can definitely afford to edge guard Olimar. So you also gotta be careful. Yep. With, especially with White Pikmin on deck, we saw the damage. That's with a lot White of damage. Pikmin ticking for at least four ticks. He was almost at 50%. Peach, Manny's goal would definitely not to lose a. Yeah, can he set up his Pikmin during all that? I don't know. Oh, I mean, I guess. Oh, I'm just gonna pull out a random order. I don't know. Okay. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Okay. Three, two, well, one. I can hear them actually. There you oh. go. <laughs> okay. Manny Already has starting off with that tick damage. So I think uh, the Omar here is probably going to play as safe as he can and just let the Pikmin rack up the damage of course. so we can get that kill. Very, yep, I would say that's, a, that's the right play. Ooh, that shield is very low. And Peach definitely does not want to let Omar set up himself. Okay, getting that clue off. Okay. Already at 56%. Using gotta uh, love those disjointed Pikmin's Pikmin taking the damage for Olimar. Okay. Ooh, okay. It's fine. Nice, parry. nice parry. Forward parry to retreat, the true punish. Okay. Oh, purple's on deck and already 80. That is damage. He got that off real quick. Oh, Two the clank. purple's on deck and an 88% peach. Oh, one purple, one died. Oh, edge guard, do we see it? Going up. No, nothing yet. Uh, Olimar, that recovery, that lagless recovery. Oof. He's in the air. Purple. Oh, no. What? Nice stock. What hit him? Right. Was it the purple? The purple got him. Purple back air. Okay. Again, you can't count Olimar out. Another good Pikmin rotation, and Peach may find herself at high damage. Okay, no kill come from yet. Fastball for Okay, no fastball for She used to jump that one to the spot. Okay. I, again, good respecting good. the patience. This Olimar is not scared. No rolls, no scared rolls, no defensive rolls. He knows he has the lead and is just racking up damage. At this point, he has done his job. Oh, the and grab! Whoa, the Way stall! Did, oh, oh. Ridiculous! Purple's going in. Two purples in hand. Olimar is just taking his sweet time. A back throw will kill and dash attack. Well, actually, not no. Not kill, not yet. He's air dodge, though. He Manny cannot escape. The air dodge is not an option. What's the edge guard? He can get... Oh, huh? nice stellar recovery. Okay. White's on deck. 
Neutral there. Ooh, side B from Manny, not connecting. It. Nope. Killed it instantly. Nice awareness and the chance. That should be it. Very nice job from Manny. Okay, one stock taken off. One that is off. a total of seven stocks for the Berkeley team. Mm -hmm. Let's see how the Merced team is going to be able to do this. Peach is on deck, and we have to remember they have a Rob in the back, they have a Greninja, and Peach and Pac Man are. The Pac Man is out, and so is the other Olimar. Okay. So we are. The fate, the fate of the Merced team lies in the hands of Peach, Rob, and Greninja. Okay. Definitely picks you can't count out or sleep on. For sure. So oh. Greninja with precision strikes, Rob's with a gyro setup, and all the different setups that Rob's has, and and Peach being Peach. Yeah, of course. Uh, we'll see. This is actually like I feel like it's a lot of pressure right now falling on Man Manny, but um, mm -hmm. definitely. I, I believe he will be able to do it. Definitely. And with Omar, Omar is one of those characters that are definitely difficult to edge guard because of no because of the mobility and the. Um, you know, lagless, lagless neutral. Right. So, depending on who goes in next, um, recovery-wise, I think, uh, well, I'll always see Peach will be able to, like, gimp that recovery. Mm -hmm. Definitely focus on that aspect of the character better. Right, right. Hopefully on different characters. Okay. And um, if we, I wonder if we'll see Snake here. Nikita and Versus Floaty Peach. Peach. I, 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 That's I, actually a pretty hard matchup for her. You're right. That's a good point. I feel like they, they should send out the... Um, the, the snake. But then again, I saw that snake take out three people. They might be saving him for the back because uh, that's true. He he clutched it out pretty hard from the, the matches I saw. <sighs> Very good work from the Berkeley team, I will say. I think they're using their. These I think they're using their coaching time right now. Like they were minute allowed coaching or. Ah, uh, not sure between, about that. In between matches, usually, or they're going right in. Okay, seems like. So we're in and Ness. Ness. All right. Ness versus Peach. The floatiness, PK Thunders. I I can see it. Oh, PK Flash, uh, they got the mobility buff in between that Smash Ultimate. I'm actually quite interested as um, what their plan is. Win. <laughs> oh, you <obviously>. stepped <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see what um, Solo has in plan for this. Okay. And they're off! Oh, right off with the PK Fire. Right off the bat, that's good old Nest Tech right there. Nice and uh, then two or three jabs. Get out of there. Yo, yo. There we go. Ooh. Right there. And here's the PK Thunder Edge Guard. It begins. Oh, oh, nice! Hitting it with a downer to get it, so getting out of there. All right, gotta watch Harry. Oh, he yeah. almost got that. Okay. Ness has got to be careful though. If he keeps edge, if he keeps using uh, air dodge to recover the ledge, he just have down tail confirms. All right, hitting with a tail. Nice, yo yo's gonna catch That's the guy. That yo yo has some insane knockback. There's like at 120, 113. He was in the hundreds somewhere. Very good edge guard too. Peach is a floaty character. It's a battle with the floor. Oh, nice fair to contest that other fair. Yeah. And air dodge on ledge did not react fast enough. I think they're going to make it. Floaty characters do have enhanced air dodges. Might as well count as anything there. Down. Nice jump. It's coming Ed back, though. Ooh. Also, Ness has to watch out for the turnip. Can turnip snuff recovery? I think it can. I'm going to say it can. Oh. All right. So throwing a lot of aerials. Oh. Definitely, um, Ness can uh, be as safe as he wants in this approach. Wait, did he just cancel that? It does have a hitbox. It does make sense. Turnips are weak hitboxes. Or just pull out a bomb right now. Well, it can't do it Ooh. in the air. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, nice. Back air. Able to get the kill. Oh, okay. Able to get the kill. Feel like he'll live that a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, can't stay on that ledge too long. Especially with yo yo. Nice okay. catch. Okay, okay. Oh, oh it wins. It begins. Oh, oh nice. So close. Nice Good. DI out. Yep. DI in, that would have been a different tune. All right, now Peach is really feeling the heat because we have Ness back throw on deck, almost reaching kills percent from anywhere. But definitely at the ledge, if a throw is hit, it is it is gone for Peach. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, these That's these guys like to fight each other's shield. They've got great nares out of shield. That's true. Nice parry. Okay, turn to take out the turnip. Damage is on deck, and I am gonna say back throw will kill from just about anywhere on stage, but don't even have to worry about Very that because back nice. is gonna take it. Called out the jump and Peach is out of here. Only taking one stock and <sighs> Manny go in with one or two. Uh only gone only got one. Alright. Okay, so uh nice. Seems like we got negative V for the next round. We got Rob versus Ness. We'll see how this turns. Seems like they're saving um Greninja for the last round. I better you know what they say, better nerf Greninja. <laughs> I, I I personally miss his old down tilt. I kinda like the downward kick. Right. But you know. Swiping at the legs is cool too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Playing the dirty. Oh, but Shadow Sneak definitely got a huge buff this ring in terms of knockback. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
Okay. Oh, what? I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Two thousand. That's was not confused. on the list. Wait, hold up. <laughs> okay, we're about to see how this matchup turns out. Um, what do you think? Um, laser can be absorbed by PK, so that that pressure does get a little snuffed out a little bit. But gyro can't be absorbed by laser. But I've already seen, maybe by accident or pure skill, this nest is no joke to catching projectiles in air. There are some key turn up catches that happen. That's true. And if you know how gyro works, it's not a, it's not that difficult to tech if you can see stick over it and catch it. Keeping Rob in air. I think Rob's plan is to nair the gy nair the uh, recovery if it comes up to him. But already taking 83%. Oh, nice. Really nice neutral nice. there. Aerial mobility, though, if Ness is too close, definitely I would say Ness has the advantage. Because the magnet, the, ma the, the side, disjoint hitbox, Rob's weird body. Yep. Rob definitely needs to keep his spacing on point if he wants to avoid a until almost get a kill. Wow. Glad it didn't. Oh, uh, no, but that will. I noticed with this, Rob. It's opted op to recover high a lot, but Nez, good job, could be in the position so he couldn't. If Ness has to, if, again, excuse me, if Rob has to recover low, he'll be at an extreme disadvantage against someone like Ness. Especially because he doesn't snap immediately. Uh, PK? Oh, wait, I'll call the, I said PK, but not the right one. <laughs> okay, Ooh, nice shield. Up smash. Is he down throw? Okay, no, not down throw. Off stage, he has to. Oh, nice. All right, this, it's up to this edge guard. He's no way. He was off just a little bit. Don't, okay, you got a nair. You, I, I appreciate this, Rob. He delays his nair so well. Like, he, his aerial mobility is actually the best I've seen some of, in, in the Robs that I've come across against. Mm -hmm. It's a common mistake of Rob to just instantly use both their jumps and fast fall with nair because, you know, it's so safe yeah. at the distance. But he maximizes his air time and makes sure he knows he's safe and gets away right after it. Back throw. to the up throw. Nope, this, oh, ain't smash, this, ain't, this ain't smash for it. It ain't as much of a kill throw as it used to be. I say if the, oh, oh my god, side B, definitely a potent kill option, but easy to punish. Most characters can get a smash attack off. Back to kill, nice. Just delete us, love him. Oh, PK. Uh, flash, might have been a missed input there. Or Most likely. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Here's the Rob. Ness, safe. Back air spacing is on point, canceling the end leg before we can okay. react right after. Okay, nice. And off stage the scenario. I back want throw. Oh, back throw. Yeah. I'm gonna kill. I wonder if um, the Rob has noticed that Ness often opts to um, air dodge to recover, uh, air dodge to recover snap ledge. And when you air dodge snap ledge, you are you are vulnerable. Are you? I didn't know that. Yes. You do not snap. You do not snap latch immediately if you air dodge to ledge. So um, definitely some down tilts or a scenario where a down air could hit. Let's see if you can capitalize on that or even get to that situation in the first place. Oh no. Okay. Oh, that's up for a second there. <laughs> that no! Said, you got a side air, I got a recovery. Let's see who wins. Unfortunate times for the Merced crew. Uh, yes, definitely. Let's see what this Greninja can do. This is their last player? Yep, this is their last player. All right. He can take out this nest. I, I've seen this Greninja. I fully believe this Greninja can take out a nest to get this nest without losing a stock. Yep. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy, because Ness does have good frame data, great kill options, and great area mobility. Ah, we'll see, we'll see. And the thing about Greninja, most of his confirms come off the Nair, but his Nair isn't all that safe landing. And, oh, can he move directly after if he cancels it right? For Greninja? Yeah. Yeah, if he can, it's auto, it auto-cancels on when it falls. Okay, that's good. But, like, it's it's more strict than other Nairs in the game, I'd have to say. We'll see. I'm praying for the Merced team right now. Hope that they do pretty well. Yes, forget. There have been greater comebacks before. Yep. Mostly in melee, but... <laughs> we'll see. Is that pre able to bring this back? For the Meset crew. Dancing around at the little button check. Okay. Oh, I guess that was just a uh, button check or a button yeah. warmer. Just kind of going around. See if I so much style. Oh, stellar three stock. Great, great. great. <laughs> Didn't lose a stock. Oh, oh, wait. All right. No, no, that was. If, if only happened. it were that easy. If it yeah. were that easy, CSUMB would still be in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we'll see how this turns out. Um, a lot of pressure I feel falling down right now on Zapri. Definitely, definitely. I can imagine him being a little nervous, but 
But in situations like this, it's like when you have the lead, when you have the lead, but you're at like 172%. You know you're going to die, but if you play scared, you're just going to prolong it. You're just going to prolong it. True, Keeping true, true. a level ahead and just really just doing what you can to avoid those kill moves and capitalize on those key punishes is what separates the, the, the good players from the pro players, I'd say. A level head and a level mentality is, is essential if you're going to play this game. Okay. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. And they're off on Kalos, my least favorite right. stage, obviously, although it is, new, is very beautiful. <laughs> okay. All right. Starting off with a big damage. Uh, air dodge. Okay. Nice. nice. Get up attack. He knows. Down smash does get beat out by a get up attack if it's too close. If it's too close. Back throw. Off stage situation. PK up. Oh, hit. Another one. Another one. Dodging. Oh, okay. Very nice. nice. It was a trap. Okay. Connection. Over there. Is he gonna spread? Oh, comment thing done in Smash 4. If he can get um, Ness off stage, he could possibly snuff out Ness's, uh, you know, angles with a recovery. True. Very nice. And he's gone. Oh. This is done enough. We're gonna, give, we're gonna give it to him. Very nice job from Zap Freak, clutching it back. Now Definitely. he's gonna take. He's gonna take how many three? He has to take on three people with three stocks. So if you think about it this way, if he loses one stock, uh, well, he's as long as as long as I see it, <laughs> as long as his stocks don't see, see zero, he's still in this game. Yeah, yeah. He uh, is still in this game no matter what. You it's cannot not over. take that from him. It's not over till it's over, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he will go down fighting. Okay, so we have Greninja versus Link. Oh, this matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, do not be controllerist. If someone shows up to your attorney with a with a pro controller, with a keyboard, you better give them all the respect you, you, you need because you never know what they might pull out of it. Oh, no, this matchup is actually pretty difficult for Greninja. <laughs> but actually, at CSUMB, um, Zap actually fought the same exact matchup and handled it quite nicely. Did he? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll able see. to take uh, two stocks off of our link with a one stock lead. I will not sleep on him. Definitely. I, I never do, so we'll see. I never sleep on Greninja. That's He's one of those characters that if you're good at Greninja, I think you have strong fundamentals in the game overall. Very true. Oh, very nice use. Uh, he went for the up smash. No connection there. Because he rewards precision and accuracy. Definitely. All right. Capitalizing. Common thing, a, a common weakness about Greninja, though, would be the fact that most of his aerials string from neutral air. So typically, if I see a Greninja in air, my first reaction would be to shield, because if they land with air, just get out of there. But um, that's just me. So good shield, but he backed up. Very Greninja nice speed, speed. Able to cover. Bomb recovery, often almost got the kill. Nice DI out. Hey. Uppy. Ooh. Oh, nice tap to Uppy. Okay. Nice. Okay. okay. Oh, up air. Got a back air. He's off stage. How's he gonna? Okay. Opted to get up attack. Don't want to do that to the bomb. Nice. News of, use, the bomb. Use of neutral air to get back on stage. How is he gonna take this off? This All right. Stop. Well, the Greninja's got to watch out for up. Uh, Ooh, up throw won't kill yet, but Greninja's got to watch out for up e forward air and up tilt. Okay. Definitely. Link's tilts are insanely very strong good. in this game. Very good. Very good moves. We'll see how Zap Freak decides to take out All right. the stock. But here's Greninja. The, the downside for having such cool precision kills is, you know, situational situational use. True, true. Greninja lacks a kill control kill throw at a reasonable per percent, I would say. I think up throw without rage, up forward. forward Very second. nice. Okay, it's not over until it's over. 2-2. Two, two. Oh. Okay, got that percent on. Because actually link with uh, projectiles from anywhere on the screen is actually annoying. Great, great stuff. Feeling each other out. All right. Oh, wow. Very nice good use from Zap Freak for all his moves. I appreciate Zap's boldness and at the same time safeness, throwing out smash attacks in a realm where if they're there, they're there. But if they're not there, he can get away pretty pretty quickly. Yep. Oh, he looks right, for just, something. Just took a bomb to the face like a little smack. Like, stop that. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Didn't need it too hard. Bomb up. Oh, oh, wow. Very nice. Nice. Shadow Sneak. Off stage Shadow Sneak. Ooh. Right into the down air. Stays up forever. Up air, I meant. Very nice. He has to watch out uh, coming from Link in the air, definitely. I would say all of Link's tilts and all of Link's aerials definitely beat out Greninja's from the ground. Okay. If challenged, anyway. Let's see how this interaction will go. Okay, so far, almost Mario. connected. That would have been Trying a to major snuff, difference. Snuff him with the two frame. 
Patience is key here. Very, very nice patience for Bridget that Bridget does have confirms from his, from an air to a kill, from a dash attack to a kill. Jabs. And a good offstage edge guard. Oh, nice. The up till, very Almost nice turn on up till. Nair at disadvantage. He's okay. daring. Okay, nice. Okay, okay. Got off to get out of there. Smart move. Challenging it would not be worth it. Very nice neutral from Zap Freak. Very good patience also. Oh. He can live. He's living. Yes, definitely. Godlike DI. No questions asked. He's no tech though. Oh, no tech on there. Hard to tech, hard to tech. All right, I think he was waiting for a roll option with those two jabs. Oh, he didn't fall on top of him. All right, Greninja without rage. Uh, up, I don't think we'll see an up throw kill till like 150 or 160, so he's probably gonna try for something else. And in that time, nope, not yet. Ooh, save. Yeah, he's gonna need 160 if he wants up throw to kill reliably. Ah, oh, Shadow Sneak. He's kind of fishing it out. Greninja is definitely not out of this, especially when the percent is so high. But he's definitely gotta play carefully. Nice cross up dash tech. Those are always useful. Rip Pikachu. Another counter. Look for the Eating a grab. Mash out. Nice back, back throw. throw. No. No kill. Gonna blow himself up. Oh no. Up throw should seal the deal. If he can get another grab. Oh, but, very uh, nice throw the bomb. I think Link, knowing that, is going to opt to try and space him out with projectiles. Because why not? There's no reason not to. Ooh, inches off from the kill right there. Honestly, Link can keep throwing it. projectiles, and Greninja just has to struggle to get in. Link has full advantage here, and Sex is going to there. Very, very nice. And, uh... Berkeley able to take this. Uh, it was... How many socks for Berkeley? Seven? Uh, seven. I think six, if, uh, well... Well, 15. Uh, three players total played for...